Stop thinking about your voice as something that's happening to you. And instead, start thinking about your voice as something that you own, something that you possess. And today's video is gonna offer an analogy of your voice being like a bike in order that you can try to start seeing your voice in a different way, in a different manner. And therefore you can start making adjustments to it and start training it and using it to do what you want it to do the way you want it to do it without feeling that it's out of your control. For those that are new, my name is Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice, aka Vocabilities.com. And this channel is available for everyone who wants to improve their voice and better their communicative situation and abilities. And so do subscribe, hit the like button, share it if it, you, you find that it's useful to you. Let's say, for example, that you have a bike, okay? And you have this bike and it's a bit old and it's a bit outdated and it's a bit cruddy and it's the paint work is a horrible color and there's not many gears, it's not very flashy, it's the cheapest thing on the market and it's not very nice. And all your friends have got brand spanking new bikes and they're cycling around, they're doing all these tricks and they're really enjoying it and they're laughing at your bike and you're, you're going, oh, I'm so embarrassed, I can't believe I've got this bike, it's horrible, everyone's laughing at me, everyone's looking at me, oh no, I've got to ride this around. What's your options? At least you have a bike. You have a bike to ride around on. You can get from A to B. Worrying about what other people think of you because of your bike is, is really, you know, that, that's your problem. I'm sure that people really don't. And if they do, are they friends of yours anyway? Are they people you want to be around? The thing is with this bike, you have an option of changing it. If you just start saving some money, you can put a little bit aside every week, every month, every year, and then get yourself eventually a better bike. And you can do that just by spending a little time. Keep cycling the old bike as long as you can. Don't worry about your friends. Learn to ignore those people who are laughing at you or making fun of you and start to save up. Do it quietly. Maybe you don't have to ride the bike so much. You can do it in your own time. But look, you can get yourself a better bike. It's as simple as that and it's exactly the same with the voice. If you've got a voice that has an issue, a vocal issue, it's something you own. It doesn't own you. You can take steps to change it. You can, you know, build up and save up and actually work with people on your voice. The, the, the possibility is there. No matter how old you are, you have the possibility to go out and, you know, earn a little bit of money and you can put that money aside and eventually that money can grow and then you can afford to get some a professional coaching or you can just take the time to learn from videos like this. Either way, that old, outdated, not very cool bike, or your voice, can change. Simple as that. Now the second part of this is that maybe you've got the best bike in the world. You've got the fanciest, newest, with all the kind of whistles and bits on it. It's got, you know, really cool, paint, it's got you know the newest gears, best brakes, fat tires, and it's just like really cool bike, and all the other kids are a bit jealous of the bike you've got. So like you've got this amazing thing, and then you just don't use it, or you're not very good at it, or everyone else has got like worse bikes, but they can do all these tricks and these magical stuff, and you're just like, eh, oh, I don't really want to ride it that much, I'm not, I'm not too bothered, you know. So you've got the best bike, and you just don't use it, and if it's not being used, it's not, you know, being, you're not getting any better at riding it, are you? You won't improve, you can't do the tricks, you can't go as fast, you can't do all the things that other people are doing, because you're not practicing using it, simple as that, and so you can't blame anyone but yourself if your bike which is amazing, doesn't work as well because you're not, it's not the bike's fault, is it? It's because you're not using it. It's, you're not putting the effort and the practice in. And it's the same with your voice. If you're not consistently practicing to make it better and learning new techniques in order to, to function, then you're not gonna get better at using your voice. All right, so that's my second part of this analogy. The third part is that if you could have any bike, it could be the best or worst bike, it doesn't matter. Bikes need to be maintained. Okay, they need to be looked after. You can't leave your bike out in the rain or in the winter, just leave it, because it'll get rusty and it'll just stop working. It'll break up and fall apart. The paint will peel off. It needs to be oiled. It needs to be cleaned. It needs to be looked after. You need to check the brake pads every once in a while. You need to make sure that the chain and the is is got the right tension in it and that the, the tires are pumped up. And if you don't do that, if you don't look after your bike, it won't function and work as well as it should. And again, it's exactly the same with the voice. If you don't look after your nutrition, you don't look after your health, you don't get enough sleep, you don't physically exercise and do the things that keep your voice limber and flexible and dynamic, 
then your voice won't work for you. So let's just break down these three. One, if you're someone who believes that your voice is happening to you, stop it. It is your instrument. It's made of muscle. You can train those muscles to make it better and then you can compete. You can become better. You can have the voice that you want. Two, you may have the best instrument, the best body, the best ability to speak, but don't use it, don't practice with it, so you won't get any better. In fact, if you don't use it, it would just won't be the best instrument anymore because it won't be able to function. So you need to practice dexterity and you need to practice things like tongue twisters and, and whatever to keep, to make sure to, that you're maintaining and keeping on top of um, your speaking ability. Maybe you can't speak aloud, so you need to practice doing that. Maybe it's that you're fearful in front of people, so then you have to practice doing that. Whatever it is, you've got to push yourself a little bit more if you want to grow and get better. And again, the third point is you've got to look after yourself. You know, your voice is muscle and tissue and bone and everything that's made up in your body. And you know, your body needs to be looked after. And, and it's not like a new idea that diet and sleep and relaxation exercises aren't gonna be good for you. They're, they're old ideas and it very much affects the way you use your voice and how well your voice works for you. So maintenance is the key thing there. So for anyone that doesn't really get this bike analogy, don't worry, I've already got one on your voice is like a computer and I'll leave a link to that. And I'm also gonna bring one out soon on how your voice is like a car. But anyway, I'm gonna do a few of these little videos. I hope you like it. Leave a comment in the box below. I wanna know how you feel about your voice. What is it you feel is going on with your voice? Can you relate to this message? Can you see yourself outside of the voice happening to you? Can you? place yourself there. Has this helped you in any way? Can you go, ah, oh, yeah, that's what I need to do. I really want to know what, how you felt about this. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notifications bell because I'm going to be making lots more of these videos as I have been recently. Thank you to everyone else who's supporting me. We've just hit 39,000 subscribers, which is immensely amazing. So thank you very much everyone for that. Um, anyway, my name's Darren McStay. This is vocabilities.com, aka improve your voice. And until until the next time, look after your voice. Uh...